A very good morning to one and all. Uh, we welcome you all to this two-day workshop conducted by the Department of Media and Communication, Central University of Tamil Nadu on Communication, Kanmevalate and Performing Arts. Now, I kindly request everyone to rise for the Tamil Nadu. திரிதனலும் <laughs> அத்திலக வாசனை போல் அனைத்துலகும் இன்பமுற எட்டி செய்யும் புகழ் மணக்க இருந்த பெரும் தமிழனங்கே தமிழனங்கே உன் சீரிழமை திறம் வியந்து செயல் மறந்து வாழ்த்துதுமே வாழ்த்துதுமே It is an absolute pleasure for our with for her for us to have our Acholi sir with us. So I kindly request Professor G. Ravindran to welcome the gathering. Thank you. Anivirkum Anakam, very good morning to dear colleagues, uh, students, and uh, distinguished delegates on the dais. Um, this two-day workshop is happening uh, thanks to the kind acceptance of our invitation by the eminent scholar, Professor Terira Yoshitaka, who pioneered uh, research on the topics related to communication, marginalization and performing arts, not only uh, in Japan, but in uh, many countries, particularly in Asia, countries such as uh, Philippines and uh, Tamil Nadu in particular. Professor Terida has been uh, doing field work in uh, uh, Tanjavur, Tamil Nadu since uh, mid 80s. His uh, uh, doctoral thesis is on uh, the Dayan of uh, Nadaswaram music, uh, TN. Uh, Rajaratnam Pillai, who is uh, well known for his uh, uh, rendition of uh, one particular uh, raga, Todi raga in, in Nadaswaran. Uh, he is a widely travelled scholar. He has uh, many books to his uh, credit. His uh, forthcoming book will be on uh, T. N. Rajaratnam Pillai, based on his uh, dissertation submitted to University of uh, Washington. I take this opportunity to thank uh, Professor Tereda for accepting our invitation. And first and foremost, uh, this event uh, has been graced by our uh, beloved Vice Chancellor, Professor Dr. M. Krishnan, who kindly consented to inaugurate uh, the workshop. And uh, despite his uh, very difficult schedule today, as he told you, because of the recruitment interviews, Despite that, he was here and uh, wished us well. And uh, on behalf of uh, the Department of Media and Communication, I profusely thank our beloved Vice Chancellor, Professor Dr. M. Krishnan, for uh, gracing the inaugural uh, session. We have uh, Professor uh, uh, Dr. Uh, S. Nagaratnam, who is uh, the professor and head of the Department of uh, Communication, Madurai Kamaraj University, another illustrious university in Tamil Nadu. As students and faculty, we need to know the um, uh, history of these universities, their contributions uh, uh, to uh, knowledge seeking, etc. And Madurai Kamaraj is uh, 
the second largest uh, or third largest university system in Tamil Nadu. And uh, the scholars uh, who work there did uh, yeoman service uh, in the sphere of uh, uh, knowledge seeking in several disciplines. And uh, Professor Nagaratnam continues uh, the journey started by many stalwarts of this great university. And uh, he specializes in, like me, he also specializes in uh, uh, people centric, uh, culture centric, society centric uh, uh, communication research. Uh, I thank uh, Professor uh, Dr. Nagaratnam for uh, gracing this function. Uh, he is here uh, to tell us about his uh, work on mobile app development. So, this is how we need to connect uh, communication with uh, uh, culture, society, etc. Okay? He belongs to the Department of Communication. He develops a mobile app for uh, uh, the Silapadigaram music. Okay? So, uh, he will share his experiences with us, how we can uh, get into mobile app development. Uh, on cultural uh, uh, issues. I thank once again Professor Nagaratnam for his presence here. Uh, I am also very happy uh, to introduce uh, Dr. Kalevani, who is on the dais. Most of us uh, are normally part of the audience when we watch a dance, classical dance or folk dance or uh, listen to music. Um, see the performing arts, etc. Uh, rarely we get to practice or learn. Uh, uh, we, we, we are shy of touching the instruments. We have too many uh, misconceptions about uh, the instruments, uh, practitioners, the castes and communities which play them. That brings into question uh, the issue of marginalization. How we are discriminating people on the basis of the instruments they pay play. So, one such instrument is Parai in Tamil Nadu, which is largely associated with Dalits. And it's a very wonderful instrument. It's a small uh, one-sided drum. I introduced Parai into University of Metas. University of Metas never saw uh, anything like that before. Now, it has become part of uh, the cultural landscape of University of Metas. And it empowers students. And many students uh, who are lovers of this uh, uh, drum, they admitted in their conversations that uh, their self-confidence, self-esteem, their way of uh, moving with uh, people has dramatically improved. Many who had suicidal tendencies uh, gave up those tendencies. They admit that they are living because of this small drum. So don't, when you see next time a person playing any instrument, do not judge them by their appearance. And uh, uh, that needs to be said when we are introducing performing arts artists in this two-day workshop. And the foremost uh, performing artist we have today with us, who will be sharing uh, her expertise on Silapadigaram music and uh, who can sing. Okay, I, I, I don't plan uh, things uh, uh, which require details. A short while ago, I requested her to sing a song. She readily accepted. That is Dr. Kalevani for you. She has authored several books. Uh, the recent book was on Silapadigara Misai. Thank you, Dr. Kalevani, for raising. And uh, she is uh, with uh, uh, her husband, uh, Professor uh, uh, Tamil Velu, who is uh, heading the department of uh, uh, Tamil uh, in a famous college. Uh, you should visit his college. It's a beautiful campus, ABC College, Mailadudurai, just 30 kilometers. Their daughter, Elise Pave. So, who will be giving the song and dance demonstration? And uh, most importantly, we have our uh, dear uh, uh, colleagues who will be uh, giving us a short concert led by uh, our uh, good friend TK Saravanan. <laughs> and uh, I welcome TK Saravanan and their uh, team uh, for. Uh, um, sparing the time for uh, uh, making the journey. I think they are living 25 kilometers away from this campus and uh, uh, without anything, any expectations, they are here to share their expertise, share their musical knowledge with us and uh, uh, nothing like uh, linking communication with music and arts. Okay, so I call it class outside class. 
So, many of my classes in Madras universities were not held inside the lecture rooms. They were held in verandas, they were held in roads, they were held everywhere. I do not know whether that is possible here in this university, but however, let us try. Try to think about uh, communication in terms of culture, society, people. I now welcome Professor Tereda to share his thoughts on this occasion. Uh, good morning. I'm, ext I'm extremely happy to be here. On the way here, I was admiring the, the campus, the facility that you have, the spaciousness, and great buildings and rooms. And I'm just thinking that the uh, students here are so happy, must be so <laughs> happy, to uh, be able to actually study in this kind of environment. And also faculty members, I would like to f uh, first thank the uh, Central University of Tamil Nadu. Um, uh, for organizing this uh, very meaningful event, uh, particularly Professor uh, Ravindran. Um, he actually has been my uh, uh, colleague for many years now. <laughs> uh, he has come to Japan uh, and then the, the, the research and then uh, we have been collaborating with the uh, uh, various issues, various projects. That, is, um, that has something to do with the performing arts and, and the uh, mar marginalization issue. Um, and I'm particularly happy that in this kind of a university setting, the performing arts are uh, being considered seriously. In other words, and that's some, something that you can go and enjoy, but there is a quite a bit more to, to uh, you know, uh, more uh, roles that, that they can play in a society. Um, so I'll be speaking about my uh, one case later on uh, this morning, but um, providing a uh, venue such as this is I know that requires a lot of uh, efforts and then also the thinking behind. So I would like to thank Professor Ravindran uh, for doing that. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> um, also, I'm, I'm really thankful for the opportunity to share some of my research this morning um, about something that you probably do not know or probably do not know or have heard about before. Um, and I think we are living in an uh, era when uh, we need to know more about what's going on in the other parts of the world. And I'd like to know what you actually think of uh, what is going on in Japan, some of the case studies that I present this morning. Uh, so this is sort of a beginning of a, uh, that kind of a communication between myself and the youth. And then I'm planning um, to, to uh, make it a more meaningful, um, trying to actually bring some performing groups to India, uh, perhaps with the help of <laughs> Professor Ravindran. Uh, this I'm not sure uh, if, if it will materialize because of, of the, a lot of things I involved. But it would be nice to, uh, and it's my, it has been my dream, to create an occasion where uh, people involved in these kind of issues, especially the role of performing arts and, and marginalization uh, can be actually interact with each other. And then uh, I, I, I can see a lot of uh, um, like a possibilities having seen the uh, campus and also the faculty members. Uh, I also would like to thank the, uh, the, the scholars from other areas. Uh, I'm really uh, interested in learning uh, things that I don't probably know <laughs> much about. So uh, thank you for being uh, here. So uh, lastly, thank you very much for coming. Uh, without you, actually, this would do not mean a whole lot. So uh, I'm, I, I really uh, look forward to your uh, reactions and uh, interaction either, either in the setting or uh, during the coffee break. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Professor Tereda. Uh, now it's the turn of uh, Professor Nagaratnam to share his thoughts on this occasion. Professor Nagaratnam. Very good morning to one and all present here, Honorable Vice Chancellor of uh, Central University, Professor Muthu Kalingan Krishnan, and uh, respected uh, Professor Ravindran, 
Dean School of Communication and also the author of this two-day workshop, workshop on communication, conviviality and uh, performing arts and Professor Yoshikata Tereda, uh, today's uh, chief guest of this program and Dr. Kalaiwani, Director Yelisei Tamil Research uh, Institute, Mailadudurai and uh, professors uh, from the Department of uh, Media and Communication and uh, students, scholars and participants of this program. It is indeed uh, my pleasure, sir, to be here for this uh, two-day workshop. I am very much uh, wondering that uh, the professor's uh, uh, connection of, uh, he connected uh, the communication and uh, uh, the performing arts. It is need of the hour, I believe. And uh, our uh, professor Vice Chancellor, of uh, Central University had uh, established one Tamil Heritage Center in Madurai Kamraj University. There uh, he is uh, actually champion advocate for the local culture and heritage in Madurai. So that I believe and also I hope and I wish uh, that uh, the same tradition will also be continued here in the uh, Central University of uh, Tamil Nadu. Likewise, uh, Professor G. Ravindran also uh, uh, innovator of uh, communication pedagogical approaches through seeing rightly seeing other discipline inputs that's uh, what uh, professor uh, uh, has organized uh, this uh, program uh, professor also established one mutram there in uh, madras university where it attracted the mutram attracted many students and youngsters uh, and also uh, given the right blend of uh, culture to the communication students so that they have been excelling in their own uh, professional uh, uh, life. Uh, I hope uh, that will also help in future. I, I am uh, here to say that uh, for the entire Tamil Nadu, one single stage is not allotted for Tamil music. The one single stage is not allotted for, for the complete performance of uh, Tamil music. This is very sad situation. That's why I am saying this conviviality of Professor Ravindran is completely vested with the soil of the music, uh, soil, uh, music of the soil. So why it had happened? 400 until 400 years before. May I? I think that uh, Professor. Uh, Dr. Kalaiwani also accept this. 400 years before until the one Tamil music was the music for the entire India. There is no other form. It is said by Kalaimamani Muttu Kandasami Desigar. He is uh, living today even. Of a uh, former member of the Board of Studies of Annamalai University is where Viblanda, Viblanda Adigal who wrote, who authored Yal Nool, was also head of the department of uh, Annamalai University's department of music, said that there was no other music forms present as equal as Tamil music. Tamil Isai was that much popular, that much present in the entire South India and also for other parts of uh, our own country. But later, we don't know what happened to Tamil Isai. We don't know. But at the same time, why the particular Tamil music had excelled even 2000 years? Dr. Kalaiwani uh, researched so much about Slapadiyaram and also Terida also researched about uh, Tamil music, Tamil, Tamil Isai. The unique culture of Tamils they had five landscapes, Kurunji forest, mountains, Mullai forest, Marudam cultivable lands, Neidal seashore and Palai dry lands. For all these landscapes, they had a unique yal, harp and lute. They have very unique harp. And also they had very unique puns. That is today it is called as ragas. That was a pun of this man. They had unique form of all five yals and puns they had. This uniqueness is not at all 
found anywhere in the world. You know this uh, particular uh, uh, Thiruvaru is known for Syama Sastri, the musical trinity, Syama Sastri, Thyagaraja, Muthushami Thishida. They had developed furthermore, they had advanced Carnatic music to another level. But I am here to say that we completely forgot Muthu Dandavar and Arunachala Kavirayar and Mari Muthafile. Mari Muthafile, Pillai. We discontinued the tradition of Mari Muthapillai, Arnachala Kavirayar and Muthu Thandavar. What happened to the Sirhali and the Thiruvarurus is close by. But the tradition that has left is more far away to reach in the present day even. So we, we should think, rethink this particular conviviality is to rethink our own traditional roots. And you know, uh, uh, Karna Mirtha Sagaram is written by Abraham Pandita in 1917. And Yalnul, written by Vibhulananda Adigal in 1947, both proved that the Tamil music is the original music of the entire India, for entire India. Many experts also agree, but you know, Madam will agree that many Carnatic experts also say that we are all part of uh, Tamil music. But where the Silapadhyaram's music gone away? That is the very biggest question. Where is the Pannati of Tulgapiyam and also Pannalati, Pannalati of Silapadhyaram gone? Today's, what is the today's Alabane? We have to rethink and we have to reinvent our own culture, our own tradition. That is today's important message of this program. And I wish to say that our uh, Thiruvarur is unique for three musical instruments. One is Panjamugavadhyam, another one is Parinayanam, another one is Suddhamadalam. Kindly understand, I think that many of uh, Kerala friends here accept that the Suddha Madhalam of Panjavadhyam in Kerala. Panjavadhyam consists of Madhalam, Timila, Idaka, Ilaidalam, and Kombu. Isn't it? All these things. That Suddha Madhalam is different from this Suddha Madhalam of Thiruvaru temple. That both the Suddha Madhalam of this things are different from the ancient matalam of the tannumay of uh, Silapadhyaram. And I, I am telling here strongly that the entire Tamil Tamil community lost its matalam tannumay forever. There is no matalam is present for the entire Tamil uh, Tamils. It, it disappeared. The same mridangam is not tannumay of the past. Even in Trittupadati, in Mulavu Man Pera, Pulara, Mulavu Man Pulara is there. But that man was in the attached to that instrument is different from the Mirdangam. And also the leather processing factor for that Matalam is differently, completely different from the Mirdangam. So Mirdangam is different and Matalam of Tanume of the earlier tradition is different. And I said Kudamula, Kudamula, uh, Madam, I saw. Uh, now that uh, Madam has written a wonderful book on uh, Natyam Arangna stage performance stages in uh, Slapadhyaram, Kudamala was part and parcel of the stage of the performance of the Madhavi in the, in the Aranghetra Kadai. It was, it was performed in the public, Kudamala. But I can say that nowhere in the entire Tamil society lost Kudam Kudamula already. Few here and there, they have constructed their own Kudamula and they are performing it that we cannot take into account. Like harp, yal, lute, we lost here in Tamil society. So that Panjamuga Vadhyam, 
in the 12th century from the since from the 12th century in the Thiruvarur temple they have been performing on the regular daily basis but it 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 all disappeared from the public performance but i can say that kerala is continuing that own legacy of kudamula they have been performing for the public stage public in the public stage and parinayanam it is another form of uh, nadaswaram is also played in uh, thiruvarur temple you know very interesting thing that now until uh, from since from the 12th century only the first woman now playing uh, panjamuha vadyam uh, in thiruvarur must be appreciated now it is the for the from the set uh, from uh, almost 800 years now only we got one, one two women they have been playing panjamuha vadyam and suddha mandalam suddha mandalam is uh, somewhat bigger uh, to hold by women and but they are and uh, and with uh, so huge crowd they have to perform the suddha mandalam before the, uh, the nrutha of uh, deity god deity so these all are very unique i think that uh, uh, we have to rethink our own uh, tradition and uh, you know as uh, professor ravindran rightly said the uh, ancient tamil society did not uh, prevent uh, anyone for uh, uh, enjoying the music or performing the music the the old society to 2000 years before or well before that in the keeladi excavations in madurai series we had a series of uh, excavations uh, in uh, keeladi where we did not find any single artifact which is related to any religion or community that's what the pride of our own society tamil society so we uh, that in the earlier that time itself uh, the tamil music was at the stage of excellent still it is so modern still even though it is 2000 years 3000 years before it is still considered a modern one we can say it is very very much modern but we we forgot and also you know you just imagine that how many of you can able to perform on particular form of music that's what the another biggest question in this uh, house so that the professor's conviviality and communication and performing arts is completely wasted for reviving regaining getting the uh, uh, going back to the ages to identify our own selves from our own culture from our own tradition that is the tamil music selapadiyaram is a treasure trove of our tamil music that must be reinvented we have actually created we have developed we have uh, composed 12 songs of selapadiyaram with the different uh, puns that used during the times of uh, selapadiyaram and also we had we have we have only used those music uh, instruments which were very much present in the selapadiyaram age we did not use any other instruments after the bhakti era we did not use it that's what the experience we will share it in the next uh, uh, sessions and i am very much sure that this is the need of the hour uh, definitely this program will motivate to regain to uh, the last music uh, instruments and also the last music of uh, tamil society this is the conviviality uh, of communication and performing arts the connection the connection of connection between both will definitely regain uh, uh, retrieve our own knowledge from our own society and also it will be given to our own society and also it must be understood rightly by the people of tamil society with this brief note i complete my lecture thank you very much thank you
I thank uh, Professor Nagaratnam for uh, introducing uh, and setting the tone for the workshop. Uh, for the benefit of uh, uh, students uh, uh, who could not understand what is meant by conviviality. So this, this seems a strange term, isn't it? We are all familiar with communication. And communication has been taught to us in a very narrow sense. Ac across the world, not only in India, communication is mostly tied with mass communication or media. Mostly in the transmission model of communication. So our approach to communication studies is transmission approach. And when we talk about how communication and performing arts can link up with uh, something called conviviality, and that's a current term in research involving communication, performing arts and other things. Convivial is about uh, bringing minds together. It's about uh, bringing cordial relations. It's about uh, fostering human relations. It's about friendship. It's about harmony and too many things. Yavaranam nadpuravai valarkalam, inakkattai valarkalam, pinakkai kurekkalam. Idai pattiyadudan todrapil. Yenbadai valiyurutthuvadudan inda irandanal amarvi nokam. We should minimize the gaps in human relations. We should foster friendship and we should foster uh, close association between minds and people through music, dance and that defines communication and conviviality. Communication is not to be associated only with uh, media, mediated communication by technologies. For thousands of years communication has been happening, fostered by men and women with these uh, instruments, performing arts. But after the emergence of uh, technology mediated communication, we have lost sense of what is communication. We have come to define communication in a very narrow way. And the, uh, and the result is disastrous. We have forgotten human communication. None of the universities have human communication as a paper. Why? We, we all started with speech communication when the discipline started early 20th century and late 19th century. So we don't focus on human communication in India. So these uh, sessions are uh, very relevant and important, uh, particularly uh, uh, when we uh, uh, teach communication in a place like Thiruvarur, we must remember how over the centuries uh, women have been imprisoned within homes. Women were liberated from their homes. They were operating in public spaces in Thiruvarur uh, some 800,000 years back. So there was a great woman called Paravinachya. Thiruvaru temple, even if you don't believe in religion, no, Thiruvaru temple is uh, telling so many stories about uh, empowerment of women through music and arts. And the story of Paravinachya is a very inspiring one. She was controlling the public spaces of Thiruvaru. Can you imagine? One woman was controlling, dominating over men, the public spaces of Thiruvaru in the past and why women cannot control public spaces in the same town or in other places. Because we have snatched away music, dance, performing arts from women. And thanks to the colonial uh, 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 policies and the policies of the elites of the state, they too collaborated and uh, ensured that temple arts went away for good and many of the many of the uh, 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 architectural context of communication in big temple thiruvarur temple and uh, gangai gonda cholapuram which uh, facilitated communication for women are still there they are still there as stones if you go to uh, big temple you would find a small uh, 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 dance floor that's there, but women cannot dance there now. Why? These are uh, important questions uh, um, we should uh, raise today. Why women cannot perform in the same place where women performed? 
before the emergence of university departments of communication, before the emergence of uh, so many other modern uh, things, why women cannot perform music in public spaces? So, uh, Professor Tereda is the right person to answer many of these questions. Uh, uh, I now invite uh, Dr. Kalevani to share her thoughts and also uh, sing a song from Silapadigaram. She is an authority on Silapadigaram music. Silapadigaram has one chapter which has been ignored by Tamil scholars also. It is the smallest chapter, but it is a grand chapter on Arang it is called Arangetra Kade. And uh, that is a treasure trove of uh, communication context of theatre, music, dance, etc. Vangama. ஒப்பனைக்கிறேன் <laughs> நிறுவனங்களிலும் ஏற்பாடு செய்யப்படுவதில்லை இதற்கு முன் கஸ்தூரி ராஜா ஐயா வந்திருந்த பொழுது நாங்கள் வந்திருந்தோம் பெரிய டைனமிக்ஸ்ன்னு சொல்லக்கூடிய ஆளுமையெல்லாம் அழைத்து இங்கே உங்களுக்கு மிக அருகாமையில் உங்கள் தோழர்கள் போல அமர்ந்து நீங்கள் கண்டுகளித்து உங்களுடைய ஐயங்களை தீர்த்து கொள்ளக்கூடிய ஒரு எளிமையான சிறந்த வாய்ப்புகளை எல்லாம் ஐயா அவர்கள் உங்களுக்கு ஏற்படுத்தி கொடுக்கிறார்கள் அதே போலதான் இந்த நிகழ்வையும் நான் நினைக்கிறேன் எனக்கும் அதில் வாய்ப்பு கொடுத்திருக்கிறார்கள் இங்கே அற்புதமான சில கலைஞர்களை அழைத்திருக்கிறார்கள் அவர்கள் இனிமையான இசையை காலையிலே நல்கினார்கள் இன்னும் கொஞ்சம் இந்த அரங்கில் அவர்கள் இசைப்பார்கள் என்று நினைத்திருந்தேன் அந்த வாய்ப்பு உண்டா இல்லையான்னு ஐயா தான் சொல்லணும் இருக்கா மகிழ்ச்சி அவங்களுக்கு என்னுடைய வாழ்த்துக்கள் இந்த நிகழ்வை இது நீங்கள் படிக்கிற காலத்தில் உங்களுக்கு மிகில் எளிமையாக கிடைப்பதால் இது தயவு செய்து எளிமையாக நினைத்து விட்டு விடாதீர்கள் இதில் எவ்வளோ தூரம் உங்களால் இதில் பயன்படுத்திக்க முடியுமோ இந்த நிகழ்வை அந்தளவுக்கு பயன்படுத்தி உங்களை அறிவை விரிவாக்கம் செய்து நீங்களும் நல்லதொரு பேராசிரியராக நல்லதொரு வழிகாட்டியாக ரவீந்திரன் ஐயாவை போல ஒரு சிறந்த மனிதநேயமிக்க ஒரு மாண்புடை திலகங்களாக திகழ வேண்டும் என்று சொல்லி இந்த வாய்ப்பை எனக்கு நல்கிய உங்கள் அத்தனை பேருக்கும் என்னுடைய நன்றியை தெரிவித்து விடைபெறுகிறேன் நன்றி வணக்கம் I also thank uh, uh, our dear colleagues, uh, Dr. Bhupadi from English Department, Dr. Thangapandian and uh, Prof. Uh, Srinivasan from Education Department. Uh, I am also very grateful to uh, one of the uh, local community leaders, uh, Ayya Veeramani Avargal. தம்பி ராஜீவ் அவர்கள் ஸோ இஃப் யூ டாக் வித் லோக்கல்ஸ் இன் திருவாரூர் யூ யூ ஃபீல் தட் யூ ஆர் கம்மிங் ஃப்ரம் சம் அதர் கல்ச்சர் அண்ட் அன்லஸ் யூ நோ த லோக்கல் கல்ச்சர் இட் வுட் பி வெரி டிஃபிகல்ட் டு இன்டிகிரேட் இயர் ஐ எம் எ தமிழ் ஸ்பீக்கிங் பர்சன் பார்ன் இன் தமிழ்நாடு பட் ஐ எம் ஸ்டில் ட்ரைங் டு லேர்ன் ஹவு டு கம்யூனிகேட் வித் லோக்கல்ஸ் to give you one example uh, when i was talking with uh, ayya veeramani i referred to the big temple in tanjavur i was later informed that big temple when you refer or use the word big temple in tiruvarur it means not the big temple in tanjavur it means big temple here periya kovilai patti nam eppozhudume veliyil irukravanga enna pesuvona periya kovilna tanjavur periya kovil ஆனால் திருவாரூர் மக்களுக்கு பெரிய கோயில்னால் திருவாரூர் தான் பெரிய கோயில் ஸோ வி வுட் கெட் இன் டு மிஸ் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் ஒன் திங் வி ஷுட் அவாய்ட் இன் எஃபெக்டிவ் கம்யூனிகேஷன் இஸ் அவாய்டிங் திஸ் கேப்ஸ் இன் கம்யூனிகேஷன் மிஸ் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் அண்ட் தட் கேப்ஸ் இன் கம்யூனிகேஷன் கேன் பி ஒன்லி அவாய்டட் இஃப் யூ நோ த லோக்கல் கல்ச்சுரல் ப்ராக்டிசஸ் 
journalism in India fails, failing badly, failing rapidly because many of our journalist friends, even though they are well-meaning, they don't uh, understand local culture. They fly from one city to another when a news event happens and report with utter cultural insensitivity. So conviviality is not possible through media because media promotes cultural distance between themselves and people. Once again, I welcome uh, uh, distinguished visitors to this uh, two-day workshop. Nandri Ayya, Viramani Ayya. Viramani Ayya, we are here in the world. TK Saravananda Kulu is here. Because of his support, we are having TK Saravananda. And uh, uh, I learned a lot from another young person, uh, Rajiv. So, during COVID, uh, we could not see all the temples. Even if you are a non-believer, you go to these places to understand ancient communication context. We need to know how ancient media works. I commute every day from my house to university. Uh, there are few temples. One temple is unique in the world. It's a Vaishnava temple. It has the tallest Vishnu statue of very fine craftsmanship. You can't find any flaw in the sculpture. The sculpture is very tall. And one evening, he arranged a visit to the temple so that you could see at close uh, uh, quarters the beauty of the sculpture, the imagination of the artist who was handling a different medium of communication that is granite. So we should take seriously the medium of granite, stone, than the medium of television, etc. B both are important. You should try to understand the relationship. Now is the time to end the uh, inaugural session. I thank all my colleagues, uh, Dr. Manas, Dr. Radha, uh, Dr. Francis, Dr. Nick and my beloved students uh, for this uh, 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 meaningful uh, day and session. Now I invite uh, Dr. Francis to give his closing remarks. <coughs> Dr. Francis. Ah, you go to the mic. Go Wonderful good morning to one and all present here. Uh, I thank our uh, uh, HOD for organizing uh, this wonderful event, for bringing uh, Professor uh, Terada from as far as Japan to our university and to our department. It is, uh, it is in a series of such events where uh, foreign scholars came to our department to share their uh, experience and expertise in the domains that they have been working. I thank our uh, Vice Chancellor for his brief, brief but uh, powerful presence here who started this event and for his uh, generosity and uh, his uh, attitude to even apologize to us for uh, his emergency situation which he couldn't help. I thank our HOD for giving a wonderful start by providing a welcome address and I thank the, uh, the chief guest and the anchor who is going to uh, uh, hold this two-day workshop in the next two days, Professor Terada, for his presence here and for his interest in uh, music and arts and communication which has brought him here and who is going to give you uh, profound lecture in the next uh, today and tomorrow. Uh, his interest in uh, music is very much evident if even if you talk to him for a very few minutes. is very down to earth, very simple. A person of his stature, if you approach him, is very uh, doesn't discriminate against juniors or students. With all, he was talking very nicely even to our scholars. Instantly spoke and uh, he also shared about his uh, interest in uh, studying music. Two of his scholars are studying uh, Thayyam, isn't it sir? Yeah. yeah. 
So it is good to know that uh, people in Japan are also interested in uh, local art and they are studying it. That's very good. And I thank uh, Professor Nagaratnam sir, who is very uh, versatile and who's, who travels a lot, who is a frequent visitor to our university for different kinds of work, official work and also for uh, delivering lectures like this. And uh, as he has exhibited in a short talk before this, his uh, immense knowledge in uh, uh, Tamil music and his ardent interest in uh, Tamil music. So it was very much evident and I think that was an enough sample for us. So for the kind of uh, delectable spread that we are going to get during his lectures. I also thank uh, the other uh, speaker, Madam Kalevani. Kalevani, ma'am. So the way she, is, uh, she spoke was very good. And uh, I'm sure uh, we'll be treated with some songs also, which is going to be refreshing. So, and I thank all the uh, uh, members of the organizing team, student organizers, our staff, the electricians who worked yesterday and day before yesterday to set this venue and all those behind here uh, for organizing this wonderful event. Uh, there is a huge line, uh, mixed lineup of screenings, discussions, and uh, special lectures by a few people here. But it wouldn't be complete without the active participation, which also has to be interactive from the participants. The participants here, the students are our department, the students from uh, the community college, and uh, faculty members from other department. Uh, I hope all will be attentive and interactive to this uh, during this session and make this today event a grand success thank you all for this opportunity now i kindly request everyone to rise up for the national anthem It must be connected with the... Sir, Kobal Krishnan, sir, in the laptop, there is a power point. Yes, sir. Power point, I can start. Okay, sir. There is a music that is a little bit. Okay, sir. That's why... Rajesh, sir. You can set a little bit of a tie-off. You can take a little bit of a tie-off. It's not a HDMI. It's not a HDMI cable. It's not a outer. 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 One second. One second. Last open 
Students and friends, uh, please stay calm. We are commencing the sessions. Uh, as uh, the artists have uh, gone to have the breakfast, we will be uh, starting the lecture sessions. And once they come, we will have the concert by them as well as uh, the song and dance demonstration. This two-day workshop will have uh, uh, both uh, lecture sessions as well as uh, demonstration sessions. Uh, performances. Uh, so we will be having uh, uh, a very good performance by uh, Thiru Rameswaram T.K. Saravanan and crew uh, with uh, uh, seven uh, instruments. Uh, uh, so they have come out with, uh, they are coming here with uh, two Nadaswarams, two Tavils, Virudagam and uh, what not. Uh, so it would be a pleasure to uh, hear them playing. So in uh, in our campus, I'm not sure whether they had these performances before, but uh, I think uh, the media and communication department is uh, showing uh, a way for uh, many other departments. Uh, uh, as Professor Nagaratana mentioned, there is a, a serious uh, need, urgent need to save these uh, arts and uh, save the instruments uh, from uh, destruction and uh, enjoy them, enjoy the music. Uh, so if you happen to go to Thiruvarur, uh, if you go to the inner sanctum, you would find a big uh, uh, Panjamugam Vatiyam. You go and uh, see it. Uh, it is a beautiful uh, uh, instrument. I also welcome uh, Professor Madhurima uh, to the session. Uh, she has been uh, a great uh, uh, performing artist herself and you should uh, watch her uh, YouTube videos. Uh, thank you, Professor, for coming. Um, so, uh, please stay calm. We are uh, resuming the uh, sessions. Uh, shortly, we have the Nazasaram uh, performance and Pilaparigaram uh, performance. Uh, to introduce uh, uh, the main uh, uh, resource person for this workshop, uh, Professor Tereda. Um, he has been working uh, in uh, uh, South India, Tamil Nadu particularly for the last uh, 40 years. Uh, and uh, he not only studies uh, uh, music, he tries to connect uh, the role of music in the lives of uh, communities and uh, people. And that discipline goes by the name ethnomusicology. Okay, ethnomusicology is work with anthropological methods uh, and uh, cultural studies methods and they study music and performing arts and dance and link with uh, why some communities have some practices, other communities do not have those practices, why some instruments are found only in some communities are not found, why marginalization happens through music, performing arts, etc., etc. And as in India, uh, discrimination is rampant in many countries, uh, particularly Japan. Uh, Japan is projected as uh, uh, a technological nation to the outside. But inside, okay, uh, marginalization happens uh, on account of uh, certain um, uh, occupational practices. Those who are uh, uh, into leather-based occupations are discriminated, have been discriminated in India because leather is seen as uh, uh, religiously polluting. So, that in India have been discriminated against because of their leather-based occupation. And uh, Dalit drums are discriminated because of that. Similarly, in Japan, uh, there is uh, uh, a group of people known as Burakus, B-U-R-A-K-U, yes, uh, they are discriminated because of their occupation and uh, uh, there are issues in getting married, in getting employment and uh, people would not be comfortable in visiting Buraku areas. Outwardly everything looks similar in Japan, very modern, sophisticated, machines are talking, everything. But insiders know all this that they would avoid certain places. So in Professor's place, there is uh, 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 the city Osaka, there is a region Naniwa, which is occupied by those who are making drums. Uh, 